G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 48 of the Fulham Career Mode series. Apologies for the lack of the episodes in the past two days. I didn't want to upload, as you would have seen if you watched episode 47 and 46, my microphone broke and the audio was just absolutely atrocious. My new microphone, I was waiting for it to arrive. Here she is right now and... Hopefully the audio is better, but I didn't want to be putting out the content with that audio. It was absolutely crap. Regardless though, we're going to get back into the swing of things here. We have two games in the transfer window and we've got four days left. But my God, do we have a lot of business to do. Things are still up in the air with Jacob Brun Larsen. And if we sell him, we're only going to have a few days to bring in a replacement. So a big episode on the horizon. If you enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. We're on the push for 50,000 subscribers, so help us get there. But anyways, let's get into the episode. As you guys can see here, the deal between Brun Larsen and United is still ongoing, so nothing has been accepted nor rejected yet between the team and the player. But I'm going to leave you guys on a little bit of a wait because we have a game at home here in the Premier League against Nottingham Forest to take care of first. All right, it's a cloudy, overcast day here in West London, back at the cottage as we take on Forest, We need three points here. I mean, it has been a pretty up and down start to the Premier League season for us here. So the lads need to step up. Working the 4-3-2-1 formation as per normal. Up front, Correa and Brun Larsen for maybe the final time. And now for a look at the Nottingham Forest starting 11. Ivan Zloban in between the sticks. Nobody crazy that stands out. Of course, I did a rebuild with them a few days ago. Ryan Yates still there. Halilovic is there. The Croatian. Leia Iseka up front. So it's not an insane side. Moise Keane on the bench though. Defending early on here. I've overcommitted there, but just got a jockey. Halilovic. Going back, which has given us a bit of time to recover. They've got it through there, and they've missed. How do they even get that shot off? Come on, lads. Correa. Going here. Goretzka. Good run. Correa. One-on-one. -on -one. What a save. Full up. Brun Larsen. Oh, my God. How have we not taken the lead there? It's going to be a corner. Correa in. Larsen heads it. Oh, taking Brun Larsen. Could have scored a great headed goal there. Look at this one on the replay. The glancing header had the keeper in all sorts. They're running down the line here. Maitland-Niles couldn't track back. And now I've overcommitted there with Elvedi. Got to block it. Good tackle. What? They've given that a pen. I thought that was a good tackle from Elvedi. Got to try stopping it here. They're going to shoot. Oh, they've banged it in off the post. That's ridiculous. I thought it was a good tackle from Elvedi. Maybe the replay will say otherwise, but I feel a little bit hard done by. Nottingham Forest looking to get a second goal here. I'm a little bit rattled. I'm not going to lie, lads. I'm a little bit fragile after that goal, but they've gone through. It's onside. They've got the shot. Save from Henderson at the near post. This is worrying signs. No, no it's gone straight to them. Good tackle, though. Thought we we're going to be in a bit of strife. Brun Larsen. Over the top. And Correa's getting there. Good stuff, Angel. Looking for a run in the middle. Going to go and get it to Correa somehow. Green timed. He's at the crossbar. Follow up. Get there. No. What has happened in that passage of play? Oh, got to intercept these ones. I've tried to overcommit there. And now Halilovic is through. Good save, Henderson. Get rid of the follow up. No. Good block, Elvedi. There it is, lads. That's absolutely dog shit. Absolute crap. This has not been an ideal start to the Premier League season. That is for sure. We're having a tough time of it here. There it is, lads. The news that we have all been waiting for has gone through. And it is Jacob Brun Larsen headed to Old Trafford. One half of me is like hectic. That's a mad price. Got to keep it going. Got to show no emotions. I mean, in the rebuilds, I say, don't get butthurt if I sell your favorite player, but we've sold one of our favorite players here, but it's necessary. Our squad has moved past Brun Larsen. We need an upgrade up front. Lads, for the final time, potentially, this is emotional. Goodbye, Jacob 
Brun Lassen! <laughs> On to bigger and better things here. Let's go and talk to Simeone and Atletico Madrid about bringing in Jao Felix. I would love to bring in Jao Felix into the side here. Probably gonna have to spend all of our budget to get him though. We've got 95 million. He's valued at 72, so we're gonna have to get a good fee here for him. I'm gonna lowball them to begin with an 80 million transfer offer because... Whoa! 134! Jesus Christ, Simeone. I mean, it's a fair price, to be honest. He's one of the most highly sought-after prospects in football. I can't afford that, though. 85 million. I want to have some money over left over so that we can potentially go for a backup goalkeeper because I know you guys in the comments section have been asking for it quite a lot here, but we might have to use all of our budget. 90 million pounds for Jal Felix, and they're going to have a think about it. Okay. Another striker that I'm going to go in for here, because we're getting deep into the transfer window. I don't want to leave it so that we've got nobody in the side. Latiro Martinez. Let's go talk to Inter about him. So here we go, talking to the Inter Milan manager, which I believe, who's the former Chelsea manager? Oh, Conte. That's right. It's Conte. Had a mind blank there. Let's go talk to Conte and see what we can do for Latiro Martinez. I'm going to offer a slightly lower fee to begin with, because he, I did see his value is 70 million in terms of what the chief executive said. So we're going to start off with 70.2 million pounds, much cheaper than Jao Felix. And what is Conte going to say about that counter offer? 90.3. So we do have a manageable option here, but I want to get a better, better fee for Latiro Martinez. So we're going to bump it down to 753 Million pounds here for the Argentine striker. 90.3 again. Might hit into the 80s this time. 80.3. And Conte is going to say 90.3 again. They're really set on that 90 million pound price. I'm going to say 85.3. And I might think about... Okay, they've accepted. I was going to say I might think about not bothering after that. But... Conte's accepted 85.3 mil. So here we go. Going to delegate the contract offer here for Latiro Martinez and see what he has to say. But before we can find out that answer, we have a Carabao Cup game here against Crystal Palace. The Carabao Cup has never been a competition that I've been crazy about in this, in this series and in any series really, but... We'll see how we go, our first game of the season. I just want to use this as an opportunity to give a few of our younger players an op opportunity in the starting 11, but also find our form. That Forest game was absolutely crap. We've been crap in a lot of areas. I can't remember if Palace got relegated in real life, like in the uh, previous season or not, but they've got an all right side. Riederwild, uh, Visor in the defense, they've got Marco Grujic, so we can't take them easy. On the attack early here, would love an early goal. Goretzka to Correa through. Richarlison, good touch. What a save. Get the follow-up. Oh, I thought we were going to get a lucky-ass rebound there. Goretzka going easily there to Douglas Louise. Goretzka, there's actually an opening here. Goretzka's going to go through. It's another save from Gaeta. How do we not have the lead? Come on, Correa. Seeing that run of Maitland-Niles. He's going to go there. Nice ball to Richarlison. I see you in the middle. Goes to Meyer. Head up. There it is. A well-deserved goal. Our first goal of the episode. And it is a beautiful header from Arnie Meyer. Initially, I wanted to go to, I believe it was Akagun or whoever it was in the uh, striker position or the right mid position. But that run came up beautifully there from Arnie Meyer. And he found himself in acres of space. Great header though. Great header. Palace on the attack potentially here looking for... A counter-attacking goal. Oh, it's fallen beautifully out of Visor. I thought Kakache got it. Jordan's being tracked there by Vandenberg. Oh, how have they got so much space? Fuck off! How did oh, you have that much space? Where is our midfielder dropping back on him? I can't do everything. I'm controlling Kakache and Vandenberg. Who the bloody hell was marking him? That is frustrating. Palace looking for a second goal here. Don't let them turn it all around. They've done nothing in this game besides get a lucky goal. Good. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jared. They go through. They've missed it. I would have been fuming at myself if they scored off that one. Lots of con concentration, that's for sure. Palace looking to start the second half off on the right foot. Ayu get their Hendo. Good take from Henderson. Potential counter-attack, though. Goretzka. Going to Correa. 
Goretzka. Here we go. Good run. Matondo. He's so quick. He's so quick. Ravi Matondo is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He finds the back of the net. He finds the side of the net, really. Bloody hell. Ravi Matondo, the Welshman. That is a tight finish. Bloody hell. Visor. Oh, they've gotten past Meyer there. He's got a jockey. Don't let them get any runs in. And don't let them get any good positions. They put that one in there. Oh, my God. We just can't hold on to a lead, can we? Vandenberg, one-on-one. -on -one, like, all we have to do is man mark. And they've somehow won the header there. IU has scored two goals. And I do not know how. We cannot hold on to a lead. Get there, Maitland-Niles. Good. Come on, lads. Restore this bloody lead and then hold on to it. Richarlison, overlapping run. Angel Correa, saved. Follow-up. No, we couldn't get the follow-up. Let them do it like this. Good. Intercepted. Come on. 89th minute. Matondo. Correa. I see. Goretzka in the middle. Goretzka through to Richarlison. Bloody hell. Still on though. Goretzka. Matondo. Blocked. We're running out of time. One last opportunity. Otherwise, we're going to pens. Goretzka. Through. Correa. Correa. Through. Richarlison. In the 93rd minute. Richarlison is going to put us through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. I mean, what a dramatic start it has been to the Carabao Cup. We're only in the second round, and we're having to leave it to the 93rd minute to win. But a last-minute winner is a last-minute winner, no matter how you look at it. A dramatic, dramatic win there at the Cottage. I mean, I would say that's going to give us the confidence, hopefully, to kick on for the rest of the season and get into some form. But we were pretty woeful at times in that game. Atletico Madrid have come back and have said 134.4 million pounds once again for Jao Felix. I cannot afford that, so we need to go and negotiate with them. Here we go, negotiating again with Simeone. I mean, I'm only going to be able to have one real crack at it here. We're going to have to say 90... Do I want to say 94? Yeah, let's say 94.55 million. Need to still have enough money to offer him wages. They're going to say... I can't do it. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't do 130 million. I can do a 10% selling clause, but uh, I can't do 130. This, this is the final piece. This is the final offer. 100 million. I won't even be able to afford. I won't even be able to afford a bloody wages for him. 97 million is the most I can afford. They're going to say, yeah, I can't do I can't do it. I can't do 134.4 million pounds for Jal Felix. Maybe another time. Come on, eight hours. We're waiting on Martinez. Martinez has accepted our contract offer. There it is, lads. We're going to get our new striker, Laturo Martinez, coming to Fulham. Look at him. He, look, he, he suits the Fulham kit. So there it is, lads. We have shelled out 85.3 million pounds to bring Laturo Martinez into our Fulham side here, our new starting striker. Hopefully, he's going to fill the void that was left by Alexander Mitrovic. The goal, so the plan now is to have Martinez as striker, Richarlison at left midfielder where Brun Larson was, and then Correa stay at that right mid spot. But Laturo Martinez. What a pickup. Welcome to Fulham FC, my man. Nico Elvedi has been absolute hot property in this rebuild and in this transfer window. 34.9 million pounds is the offer here from Sporting Lisbon, which I'm going to be rejecting again. Tottenham have come in here for Liberata Kukache, our New Zealand left back. Not a chance in the world I'm getting rid of this guy. He's only 21 years of age, and he's already 81 overall. I'm excited to see what he can do for the remainder of the series. And then another offer, Man City with an abysmal offer for Elvedi. So there it is, lads. That is the transfer window done and dusted. Definitely quality over quantity. Lindelof and Martinez into the club. Mavropanos, Holgate, ooh, and Jacob Brun Larsen out of the squad. So... A new look side in certain aspects, but the squad just continues to get better and better. So I was thinking, I could put in a offer and go ahead and try signing a new backup goalkeeper, or we could use our youth academy to try signing a new goalkeeper and try building one up. And I think this is a sign from above, from the FIFA gods, that we need to go through our youth academy because Jorn Bergman wants out of the youth academy. As you can see here, he is 56 overall, so he's not a player that's going to be starting for us or even insane for us to start off with. But 
a potential of between 80 and 88, we could develop him into quite a handy keeper. Gonna go ahead and set up some new youth academies here, some new scouting networks. We're heading to Croatia here. Let's see if we can bring in a new Croatian talent. I mean, they're absolute workhorses for their such a small population. They develop some great footballers. And I'm also gonna head to Brazil here, looking to bring in a new Brazilian wonder kid, a new attacking threat out of Brazil, the next Ronaldinho. Let's see who we can go for. But lads, that is where we're gonna conclude this insane episode of the Fulham Career Mode series. The series has changed forever. I am so excited for episode 49 for the pure fact that we have our first Europa League group stage coming up, group stage game coming up against Fenerbahce. So, oh, I'm keen for that. Hopefully go on a run and hopefully see what luck Laturo Martinez can do. But lads, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the next one soon. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.